Hey guys, Veritas here. Another build video. Sorry that it took me so long. Um, I just want to let you know that right now, you know, I've been fighting some kind of cold. So if I sound awful in this video, I apologize. But I wanted to get this build out there for everybody so you can uh, start tearing it up. Let's get right to it. I wanna, don't want to waste your time. The build so. that I'm using focuses only on PvE right now. Separate builds for PvP that I keep saved under loadouts uh, on the ropes. But right now, we're only going over my PvE build. The way this game works, modifiers that affect enemy targets, including elites, is obviously damage to elites, headshot damage, base weapon damage, crit damage, and that's about it. So I want to talk about why I stack what I stack and quickly go over each gear piece for you so you can see how I achieve these numbers of 200,000 headshots in PvE content. Um, to get started first, the talents, as you can see, damage to elites, damage to elites, headshot damage, damage to elites, weapon damage, weapon damage, rate of fire. It, we're, we're stacking essentially damage. It's all about stacking damage and damage to elites. Um, right now I'm sitting at 32,000 weapon damage with the marksman class. Yes, you can actually use the marksman class for this build. I go down to 29,000, but this headshot multiplier goes up to 125%. The numbers actually are about the same, but with the marksman class, you do get more accuracy and stability and, and reload speed and things like that. So if you want to run marksman, go for it. Nothing, you know, no one says, oh, this is 15% LMG damage. I have to run this. That is not true. Okay, so if you want to run the marksman, do it. You can see I have 0% critical hit chance. We're, we're not running crit hit chance at all, that's not the point. Headshot damage, and all weapon damage, LMG damage, and here's 101% damage to elites. So stack it, stack as much damage as possible. The one modifier you're not seeing, this all weapon damage actually goes up by another 44%, is the trait Unstoppable Force and it rolls on the chess piece for me. I put on, it, it's only on chess piece, but I use it with Petrov for LMG damage. Um, unstoppable force, 2% for every 10,000 max armor. We have 220,000, 44% damage, huge. So this is how we achieve those 200K headshots. Let's go through the weapons and the gear. Unhinged, obviously is a talent that you want, and we're gonna talk about ways to negate this weapon handling. It's actually not as hard as you would think. Uh, Allegro, 10% rate of fire. I love Rooted. It gives you 25% healing when you're in cover. Well, we're running an LMG build, and we're going to be in cover a lot when you see what I'm going to, you know, what I show you on the knee pads. So these, this is good. Uh, the Lullaby is what we have back barred. We don't use this gun. Yes, it's level one. If you didn't pre-order the game, then <clears throat> I think you're going to have to get the Sweet Dreams. You know, it kind of stinks that you have to farm for this thing, but you need it because the ability to dodge and get 25 bullets back into your mag is insane. I think this recently was buffed. I thought it was 20% at one point and you only get 20 rounds, but now it's 25%. And every time you dodge, you get 25 bullets with a 100 round mag. So it's insane. It's a must have. The mask, you want to roll damage to elites. This is where you're going to get your highest damage to elite rolls is on the mask. I have 43% damage here and 15% damage on the talent. So if you're looking for a mask, go with this. I'm not sure if China Light Industry Corpse is the best one. I do like the explosive damage for our signature weapon, but there may be others. You can use uh, weapon handling. I'm not sure if you can get the damage to elites as high, though I'm pretty sure you can't. See, China Light, damage to elites. So I would say best in slot, China Light, damage to elite roll, and then hard hitting. For the chest piece, um, this is best in slot as well. Petrov defense, you get LMG damage. You can roll headshot damage and weapon damage. Unfortunately, mine came with crit, so I need to get rid of this and put weapon on it. But you want unstoppable force. This is bread and butter for our DPS, so put this on, okay? For the holster, Araldi Holdings is amazing because you get headshot damage, accuracy, you can roll weapon damage on this. You could roll damage to elites. I could re-roll this trait for damage to elites. Headshot damage. Okay, so any any trait you want. I prefer the weapon damage. 
if you're doing only PvE content, damage to elites there will actually yield more. So I would put damage to elites. The only reason I haven't is because I also use this holster for PvP. So I have not rerolled this. But it would be best in slot for PvE. You want damage to elites instead of weapon damage. So keep that in mind. Araldi Holdings. For the backpack, I also run Araldi Holdings for the 10%. That gives me the two-piece. And flat 7.5% weapon damage. This can go higher. I have, you know, eight and, and other rolls like that. But 7.5 is good. I like the damage to elite perk. If you want, you can actually re-roll one of these reds and get safeguard active, which will keep you alive longer, which is great. For my gloves, this is what gives me the 10% weapon handling and LMG damage. This number is really low. I have pieces that go up to uh, 11, 12%, so I'm, I'm trying. It won't let me roll this one higher, so I'm sticking with 7%. But I love the 15% headshot damage. That's huge. Okay, so it stacks. It gets me up to the 100% headshot damage range, and this weapon handling negates that 25 or the 35%. This 10% negates it down to 25. Last but not least is the knee pads. I love the total armor. It helps out with this max stat for unstoppable force, bonus armor again, and of course, hard hitting damage to elites. Now, what you could do is you could swap this piece. If, you, if you're having trouble with accuracy, guys, I'm going to tell you straight up, if you're not hitting the enemy, obviously you're losing damage. So these stats can be inflated if you're not hitting the target. On PC... I feel I don't have trouble aiming without that 25% weapon handling. I feel like it's still pretty accurate. If you struggle, put on braced. I have this pretty much the same role. I put this defensive slot with one of the ones here that has total armor, and it's the same thing. You, you lose 15% damage, but look at my reticle right now, okay? It takes a lot of shots to go down. If you're struggling and you don't like that, Put on braced. Now watch. It's a laser beam. The reticle is maxed out instantly. Okay, so that's personal preference. Like I said, I prefer the damage, flat raw damage. It helps me get into the 200Ks. And I kind of close the gap by getting close like this. And you just use cover to get close. Then you don't have to worry about that reticle. Because if you're they're right in your face, they die fast. So... This is my PvE build. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any other questions. The talents, I mean, you can substitute these in with anything. I personally use the heal for the chem launcher and the revive if I'm running solo. If I'm in a group, I'll slot something else in here to maybe, you know, stun the enemies, things like that. But this is a nice solo build. If you didn't like the video, dislike it. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and guys, I'll keep these builds rolling in, okay? Have a good one.